What's going on everybody, Cam here. I want to address a couple comments and questions that I've been seeing in the Facebook community page for One Laser, and that's surrounding the XT or XRF desktop series laser by One Laser. I have the XT One Laser. This is the glass tube option. This is not the RF tube option or the metal tube option. Now, one thing I want to point out is that what you see here, the body and size is going to be exactly the same with the XT as it is with the XRF. No difference on the outside whatsoever. Granted, you won't have the riser base from a stock standpoint, that's additional purchase, right? When we go to open up the lid, the workspace, the components, everything is exactly the same. Now, the only thing difference between the XRF and the XT will be the focal length lens. So when we pull out the focal length lens, this little magnetic block where the lens sits, on the XRF, the lens is gonna sit on the top. That's going to be a two and a half inch focal length lens. Where on the bottom, on the XT, it's going to be a two inch focal length lens. Why they do that, I'm not sure, but you have that option to put a 20 millimeter diameter lens on the top for two and a half inch focal length, or a 20 millimeter lens on the bottom for a two inch focal length lens. Another comment that I want to address is that when you buy an XT laser, people have been saying that you need to buy a chiller for this laser because it has a glass tube. That is absolutely false. This laser already comes with a chiller installed. So that's what this white compartment is. All you need to do if you get the XT1 laser, you need to open up the back, you need to open up this lid, and you need to fill it up with distilled water, right? Not regular water, distilled water. Or if you're in an area where freeze is concerned and you don't want to burst your tube, then you can use RV antifreeze, okay? The pink stuff. So needless to say, whether you go with the XT or XRF, both lasers are going to be ready to go out of the crate, fully aligned, all the accessories that you need. The only recommendation that we make, and this is all lasers, all brands across the board, is to improve on the ventilation. So the desktop series lasers, they have this little tiny four inch fan that sits in here, and it's not gonna be enough ventilation in my opinion, and you're gonna wanna upgrade to something bigger, such as an AC Infinity fan. So I use a single eight inch fan to ventilate all my lasers. I have one laser connected here, another laser connected here, I got another laser connected here, and a laser connected underneath it. So. I use a bigger fan for all my systems. That's why you see this little flexible setup so I can pull it out away from the wall if I need access to the back.